New this morning, cell phone data is giving emergency planners new insight into what happens when a major storm threatens the state. So researchers at UCF tracked thousands of devices in the days following Matthew, Irma and Michael. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joins us live. And Ashley, they found on average only about one in four, 25 percent evacuated. That is true, Bruce and Jennifer. Good morning to you both. That actually means that most cell phone users, in fact, stayed at home. Now, this is the first behavioral study of its kind in more than a decade. Now, researchers hope that it will help state and local agencies predict what will happen when Florida inevitably faces yet another hurricane. Be prepared. Those are the words on the sign outside the Clay County Emergency Services Center. Director John Ward says he hopes people will listen when an evacuation order is given, but unfortunately, a lot of people don't. Like they can hunker down. Uh, they don't worry about all the different factors. Um, one of the biggest issues we deal with is obviously storm surge and flooding. Even on a relatively sunny day, it is obvious how easily some parts of Clay County can flood. And what we say is if you flood on an afternoon thunderstorm, you're probably going to flood in a hurricane. And that was the case with Irma. When Clay County first responders had to rescue 368 people from rooftops and front porches because they would not evacuate. Using cell phone data stripped of any personal information, such as names or ages, researchers at the University of Central Florida monitored activity during three recent storms. In 2016, 16 percent of people potentially at risk during Matthew evacuated before it skirted the East Coast. 29 percent left before Irma hit in 2017 and 24 percent fled the panhandle before a direct hit from Michael in 2018. This is the first major update of its kind since 2010, when the Florida Department of Transportation conducted its own study. Since then, the state experienced a 17 percent growth in population. That means millions of newer residents with limited experience dealing with hurricanes. Ward has this message for them. Um, so we really ask if we're issuing evacuation orders, it is truly in the safety and concern for our residents and a concern that could save lives and conserve resources when they're needed most. And if you do not know if you're in an evacuation zone, as most of our Northeast Florida counties have changed, go to floridadisaster.org and go to Know Your Zone. We post a link to that as in addition to Clay County's new disaster guide in this story on our website, newsforjacks.com. Live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station. Ashley, I've got to believe that the researchers looked into the why people took a risk and didn't evacuate. Yes, and that is something the Florida Department of Transportation has looked into as well, Bruce. It actually found that 18 percent did not want to leave their homes or actually underestimated the severity of that storm. Now, another 8 percent could not afford to leave or they, in fact, had nowhere to stay. But some other reasons for not evacuating include my job required me to stay, no access to shelters that allow pets, also no transportation, no shelter availability or a family member or friend too sick to leave. So that get, really gives you some perspective on why some people chose not to evacuate. Thank you, Ashley.